D, wait for it. Light bulb. Pick up the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So I just finished Ms. Marvel episode two. And I have to tell you right now, um, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> um, I think maybe I was a little too harsh on the first episode just because I will be honest with you. I don't like this comic book character. I, I, I only read nine of the comic books and I had to bail because I was like, this is crap. It's pure crap. It's garbage. And, um, you know, the comic books, from what I understand, didn't get any better. Now, in saying that, I couldn't relate to Kamala Khan from the comic books. Now, this Kamala Khan is completely different. Uh, it's not the same character. They completely rewrote it. Um, she's very different, in my opinion. Um, I do like this Kamala Khan better. She's charming. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't relate to her still because she's like a 16-year-old girl and all like, <laughs> and everything in me. I'm all like, I don't get it, but whatever. Um, there are some things that I did relate to her, though, um, you know, having uh, religious parents and, you know, very like protective, um, you know, uh, you know, I totally got that portion of the program. My parents were religious and protective. Um, so, you know, I, I got that whole thing. Um, but I don't uh, and but I don't uh, understand, you know, um, reluctance to tell past stories and everything of and we'll get to it in this but the mother in this instance she was very like unwilling to talk about her past and that part of the program i don't understand you know the only way we learn is uh to to um we learn from our past kind of thing and her um but maybe we'll find out why she doesn't want to tell in another episode now um as far as this one goes we got a little bit of action and i like that i just all honestly i haven't liked any of these marvel shows and i just feel well i did like hawkeye hawkeye was pretty good but i just feel like especially with this one we only get six episodes so me personally i'm kind of like you need to get to the meat of this story because you're taking too much time not getting to the meat so i i hope that they hurry this along and everything because i i, I just i think that it's it's we only get four episodes left, and I, 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 I feel like they're just going to save everything for the last episode, and I, I, Daddy's not into that stuff. You can't just wrap everything up into a bow and expect me to go, oh, great, it's a, it's a present. No, it's, it, it, was, it was a lot of work for nothing. So in saying that, why don't we uh, go ahead and break this sucker down? But before I get started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine, we always get shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share and subscribe and I thank you in advance. So now that I'm done with that, let's get started on this breakdown. So it starts off with school and she goes in the next day because she's got her little cosmic and everything and she's walking in. Now, I just have to tell you right now, this walking in part, she throws back her hair. She's walking past everybody. She's like, hey, and everybody, people are looking at her weird. You know, she's, this guy's all like, hey, um, uh, what does he call it? Cause it's, I can't remember what he, he like Camilla. And she's like, by the way, it's pronounced Kamala. And he's like, oh, okay. And everything. Uh, she, she does this little thing with the basketball guy, she, these two ladies. She's like, hey, can I actually get through here? And she's like, you know what the great thing about earbuds is? You don't have to be right next to each other to hear and everything. She's like, but hey, best couple ever. I'm rooting for you guys and everything walking through and bestie comes up now before i get on to the rest of this i just want to say that this was very cringe this part was very cringe to me because it reminded me of that scene in spider-man 3 where peter parker is going down the street and he's all like you know and eh. the only thing missing from this was that hip thrusting moment and everything like i almost thought it was going to happen in this show and i was all like i swear to the Jesus, if she hip thrusts, I am going to freak out because I will automatically shut this off and never watch it again because it was so cringe. But she didn't. So he's all like, hey, can I see your powers? And she's all like, meet me in the, the uh, theater after the school. So then she goes into, they go into the cafeteria or whatever, or everybody's talking about uh, Zoe here who got saved by the new superhero. And she calls her Nightlight, which I liked a lot because then it gets brought up later on. And I kind of chuckled uh, later on when she gets <laughs> like, oh, look, Night Bright or Nightlight. So she's talking about how like, oh my gosh, we are having like, it was like my life flash before my eyes. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Okay. All right. Redhead, you fiery redhead. You, your life did not flash before your eyes. Although uh, she technically should have died because that hammer hit her pretty hard and she didn't even fly off and everything. Eh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, 
look at this girl right here just like staring at the back of her head like a big fucking weirdo anyways okay so she's all like what's going on here and they're all like you know look at her just soaking up the attention and everything and uh so she's like that's why i'm having a party at my house uh tonight to celebrate life and everything and i was like oh that's so stupid um and she's like we're not going to that party but then hot boy walks up hot new boy, hot british guy he's all british and everything i don't know if i'm doing the right right, right accent I feel like I got to do a Cockney accent. I didn't even know this is a Cockney accent. Anyways, so he walks up and she's like, you're the new guy. You have to come to my party. And he's all like, oh, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Uh, um, I'd love to come to your party. And I'm all like, you don't even know her, but whatever. Um, and, you know, she's all, you know, trying to get some of that dude, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so, um, uh, and his name is uh, uh, Kamran, Kamran, Kamran. I think that's a Kamran.com. Anyways, um, so then she's like, we have to go to that party. And, uh, and he, of course, is upset about that because he's trying to get in that and everything. And I'm all like, dude, you've been to your friend zone, okay? She's not interested. Stop trying. I do not understand people like this that just keep pining over somebody. Like, I am very much like, if, if, if I'm interested in you and I get one whiff that you are not interested, I'm out. Like we can be friends and we can totally be cool and everything, but I'm out. I'm like, not going to be like, I'm not spending no money on you. I'm not like, you know, uh, you know, uh, running myself around in circles to spend time with you. Uh, yeah. So she shows him her powers and everything. And, and, uh, then they, uh, do a montage cause she's not strong. So she doesn't have super, she's like, I don't have super strength. So they do montage and everything. And they're trying to, to figure out her powers and they do these, it's like, it's like crystallized, you know, matter. It's just like a crystal kind of thing, which I'm curious to see what they do with that. So then he's sitting here and he's got his little sunglasses on. Look at him looking like a fucking douche. Anyways, he's like, the power's not coming from the bracelet. The power is coming from inside you. And I was like, get the fuck out of here with this. Listen, the show, this episode was not bad. It was, it was actually good. I'll say it was good, but they had some corny shit in here that I was just like, all right, maybe the, this part's not made for me. Like, I'm not interested in this. The, like this life, the power comes from inside you. Okay, thanks. Next, you'll be telling me with great power comes great responsibility. Anyways, so she's working her powers and she's doing a good job. I like actually like that part and everything. So she's she's working the, the bracelet and they're trying to figure out what the writing on the bracelet. I'm sorry about my dog in the background. I can't help it. And, uh, you know, somebody should be trying to get that fucker. Um, she's probably, a bird probably flew by and she's freaking out about it. Anyways, so they're creating all this stuff and, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're practicing and everything and, uh, she's doing her thing. Um, and she's the only thing, and I have questions about this and I'll talk about it later, but notice how it slides into this. One thing that I want to know is how are they going to do the X-Men now with all these people coming in? How are they going to do Iceman now when she's basically sliding across, um, you know, ice, Basically, it's just a crystal. And I mean, you know, I, I'm just like, how are they going to do Iceman now? Like, look at that. Look at that. Besides the fact that it's not attached to this because Iceman stuff has to be attached. How are they going to do Iceman now without being all like, oh, it's just Miss Marvel uh, and everything. It's just it's it, it sucks. Again, sorry about my. So these two run into the mosque and they put their shoes in. They they're wash up. Um, I, I totally understand this. Uh, you know, uh, you you have they have to wash before you uh, step into holy areas and you also before you handle any holy scripture uh you have to wash your hands and uh you know depending on how much you're into it you you might have to shower um before you do any of that so they're sitting here praying and if you notice the men are on this side and then the women are on this side um and like uh, and so they're sitting here talking and they're talking about how their side oh these two are instagramming and this woman comes in and he's like you're being disrespectful So, um, so then, so she comes up, um, and she's all like, um, you know, you're being disrespectful and everything. So then, uh, she, they're, they're all upset. And so they're sitting here talking about how their side of the mosque is crap. You know, they have the crappiest, uh, floor, there's mold on the floor and all this stuff. And this, the, the, he calls them out for talking and they're like, sorry, we're just it'd be nice if we could see you and everything. And I can't remember what he says, but you know, he's all like, uh, you know, who wants to run for the, uh, the, the uh, council of the mosque and everything. And she's like, you should run. And then her Versace's get stolen. She's like, that's the, that's the fifth pair this month. And I, and they, they can't, I can't remember what they call them, like the, the mosque thief or whatever. 
And me, I go, who's stealing people's shoes? Like, what? I mean, like, unless it's a female, why would you steal a female's shoes? Like, I mean, she said they're Versace, I guess maybe because they're, they're, you know, they're maybe worth something. But I'm just like, man, I'm like, uh, you know, that's so crazy. I wouldn't even think about stealing someone's shoes. Like, what? So they go outside and she's all like, you really should want to run. And she's like, yeah, but uncle, um, this guy, I don't remember what his name is, but she's like, he's running and everybody loves him. And, uh, and Hey, politics, you got, if people like you, this is how it works. So she goes home, she helps her moms with the groceries. And then she's like, listen, I'm really sorry about the other night and sneaking out and everything. I really am sorry. And she's like, she's, and her mom, her mom is straight for, and I have to tell you right now, I'm on the parent's side as a parent. I'm on their side. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Kamala. You, you naughty baby did a no, no. And your mom is 100% right. Um, and you were a dick about your dad and going in the costume. Cause he actually looked pretty good. Or at least I thought he looked pretty good. Um, and so she's, she's sitting here and she's all like, I just want to protect you. And I, and totally, and, and, her, and she's like, I know and everything. And she's like, she's like, so, and she's like, there's a party going on tonight and, and Bruno's going to go. And so is her other friend who I forgot her name was. I have a list of the, the people, uh, 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 Nakia, Nakia. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Anyways, they're going to go and everything. She's like, all right, you can go. So they go to the party and she's got this stupid hat on. I have to tell you right now, I don't like this hat. I'm like, Kamala, listen, I understand you want to wear baggy clothes to keep it modest, but you don't have to wear ugly, okay? Modest clothing, okay? Like, like Nikia here, uh, she, look at her. She looks great. She looks great. So I, I don't understand why she's, uh, why Kamala's not, you know, trying to, and, and her brother's fiance also looks great. So I'm like, why are you dressing all like, you know, gr 90s grunge, honey boo? So anyways, I don't know who this kid is. Uh, I think this is the first time we've seen him, but he's running up like they're besties. And so they're saying, she's like, so he's like, here, drink this. And she's like, is there alcohol in this? He's like, no, it's just orange juice. So then she drinks it and he's like, dude, why would you do that? And everything. She's like, am I drunk? And I'm like, oh, that's such a teen thing to say. So then um, uh, Kamran, uh, he jumps off the top of a roof into the pool. And everybody's like, oh my God, you're so badass. I'm like, oh, whatever. And so he gets out. And of course he's all naked looking. Look at his look, little hot body. And she's got all these little, I do not like the art little things going on in here. It's too Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim did it better than this. Stop, stop playing. Stop playing games. So then, um, so then she's all, you know, oh my God, he's the man I want to marry and everything. He's like, hey, and he's like, hey, you did that belly flop. It looked like her. And he's like, no, not really. I didn't really feel it. And he's, she's all like, I said something about driving. And he's all like, uh, or he's like, I'll take you home or something. I can't remember. Oh, because the cops show up. And he's, she's all, she says something. Uh, they're talking about Bollywood movies. Now, I just want to say real quick, I like Bollywood movies. My favorite one is Ajahn Nachile. So good. Love it. <laughs> I got that. I remember the first time I saw that it was in 2007. I was on a flight to South Africa and I watched it like four times. <laughs> like I was just like, I was trying to learn all the dance moves and everything. So good. So I love Bollywood movies. I also love um, Bahubali and Bahubali 2, the conclusion and everything. So good. So good. I love all those. There's, I could name a couple more that I, they started talking about crap that I'm like, yo, you guys are like fanatics about Bollywood movies because I don't know anything about Bollywood. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that much about Bollywood movies, but Hey, if you're, if you're into Bollywood movies, you would know this much. So they start talking, they talk about how she failed driver's training and he's all like, well, Hey, I'll give you a lesson tomorrow. Drops them off and everything. Oh, and he's like, can I get you, yo, can I get your digits and everything? Um, and she gives it to him and then he drives away. So then she comes in. Now this part was also to me very charming. And you want to know why? She starts in her head. She hears, be my, be my, be my little baby. My. And she's singing along with it as she comes across the thing. And she's getting a juice box, which was a Capri Sun. Ah, kudos, girl. And she's doing this whole thing. And this whole part reminded me of Adventures in, or, uh, Adventures in Babysitting, that very first thing where she's she's getting dressed and she's dancing around her room and she's she's singing to her to her hair clip or whatever and everything. And um, and I love this movie, but I love that scene and everything. And then he he, he doesn't go on a date with her because he's cheating. Fucker. Anyways, but I love this scene from that movie. And um, I did thought I thought this part was charming and it reminded me of that. So then he texts her and everything about the driver's lesson. She's, you know, dreaming of she's marrying him. 
But while she's in class, we're drawing stuff. Her nose goes all bright. And I think it has to do with, you know, because she, she, she's a woman. She's becoming a woman. And uh, she, her nose goes, well, she runs out and she drops a book. And her friend is all like, hey, I have pads too because I know how your mom feels about tampons. Uh, this is out of my uh, uh, frame of reference. I don't know anything about periods except for that they happen. Uh, and I don't know uh, how you ladies deal with it, but, uh, you know, do your thing. <laughs> so... She's like, I'm good and everything. And her hand goes or whatever. And uh, she, and so these two are talking and she's like, she talks to her about how she's like, you make it look so easy. She's like, easy. She's like, you know, for, you know, one percent of my friends, I'm too white. Uh, you know, for other times I'm, I'm too, you know, ethnic. And I thought putting on a hijab would change all that. And it didn't. And I just want to say right now, as far as religious goes, I don't understand how she's going, but I just, I'll, I'll give you a kind of perspective and everything. When it comes to politics, I'm very much in the middle, like so in the middle. So I, I, I argue a lot when it comes to politics, because for my, my right-leaning friends, um, I am too liberal. And for my liberal, my left-leaning friends, I'm way too conservative. So I'm constantly arguing about crap that I believe. And I'm all like, I'm, I'm not like, stop fighting with me. Uh, you know, well, let's, let's, <laughs> let's stop fighting. Cause I agree with you on this and everything. It's, it's, uh, it's such a mess, but anyways, so I feel bad for her. Cause like, I kind of understand kind of, maybe not really, I don't know. Anyways. So I do feel bad for her. You know, she's, she's got to deal with this crap and doesn't now. Uh, so she gives her, she's like, your driver, so she gives her this shirt and some earrings. And I'm all like, Kamala, like, well, you can't dress, you know, halfway decent yourself. Like, what is this bomber jacket she's got on? What is this? What is this? there's between, uh, listen, well, who are you? Kurt Cobain circa 1992. No, come on, come on, honey. Yeah, get some clothes on everything. Um, and so then he goes into this counselor's office, uh, who is also wearing a gross shirt. Uh, uh, we'll come back to that. He's wearing this like carpet. Look at that. He looks, it looks like a rug anyways. And he's like, you got into not MIT something. Ah, I can't remember. Sorry, guys. You got into some program where everything's going to be taken care of tuition, housing, food, everything because you're super smart kiddo and he's all like can i think about it and he's all I, I real quick before i do anything else i just want to say as far as his uh, outfit goes what, am i the only one that got back to the future michael j fox uh vibes from this i mean just hold on let me move this over look oh i can't you can't really see it because this this little part right here but look at that right right yeah, you see it too, right? With the with the vest and the shirt and the thing. Okay, cool. I'm I'm just want to make sure I'm I'm not the only one that did that saw it. So then um he's like, can I think about it? And he's like, you know that part in the movie where the main character they're all like, he's like, he, he's like, you want to answer phones for you know the most uh you know iconic woman in fashion? And he's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, yo, that's you, and I'm Meryl Streep, so and everything. So he's basically saying take the deal stupid and he should he's like but it's in california and i'm like if you're staying here and not going to a school where you will get a full ride because of a girl you're an idiot because you're in the friend zone she's not interested and you have a chance to go and create your make your career happen and listen the romance thing will happen you're a freaking teenager. Date somebody in college. College is the best time to date somebody because that's when you're all, you're, you're around like-minded people. You're all the same age. You have the same interests, you know, and if you don't, then you, you can, you know, find new interests or find people that like the same things you do. College is the best time to date slash meet someone slash just uh, find the person of your, your, your life with. So anyways, so then she's happy because she's going out to have the, uh, he's like, hey, you want to, uh, you know, work on your powers. And she's like, you can't, got a driving lesson. It's like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So she goes and driving and he's like, driving after school is the best uh, stress reliever, but not with her because she's a crappy driver. Cra <laughs> Women drivers, am I right? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so uh, they're sitting here talking about Bollywood movies again. And she sees her brother and his fiance, and she's like, oh my God, it's my brother. And if he sees him, he's going to, you know, kind of cause a scene kind of thing. But then her brother ends up showing up and he's like, Kamala, and everything. And he's like, this is our cousin, um, uh, 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 Cameron, Cameron. And he, uh, you know, is uncle so-and-so. I can't remember the uncle's name. Please don't ask me. 
Um, and she's like, so, and this is Amir's uh, fiance and she's very pretty. She's pretty. And she, she, you know, and that's like another thing, her, both the mom, the best friend and the, the soon to be sister-in-law all dress really nicely, but Kamala dresses like a fucking bum. Like, come on, stop dressing like a homeless person. So anyway, so um, they, he convinces him that this is a cousin of theirs. So it's not that big a deal that she's talking to him, but I go, you can, you can talk to a boy. It's not like they were doing anything bad and they're in public. So they can't do it. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know the religious aspects of it. I am not Muslim. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, they, I would, that that's all like their thing. Maybe it is bad to, to be seen talking to a boy in public. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not, I'm not judging anyways. So then they're having dinner and they're discussing um, Pakistan and India. And uh, there's, you know, the, the civil war and all this stuff. I want to tell you right now, what I just said right there is the extent of what I know about. It. I don't know anything else. I'm very ignorant to the situation. I do know that, that uh, I do know there is some hostilities between Pakistan and India and it sucks. I don't know what else to say about it, except for that's all I know. So um, so then she was talking about her grandmother and how, because she tells about this story about how she was on, she, they got separated during, um, I can't remember what they called it. They got, she got separated from her father and he got on a train and um, she's all, and he, she got on the train right before it left because she followed a, 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 a path of stars. And I have a feeling that it was, uh, you know, her mother or grandmother, I can't remember. Uh, her mother, her mother that helped her or whatnot get there. And um, and then as, as she, the, the bracelet goes off and then she sees this light. Oh, I didn't get a, a picture of the woman. Sorry, there was a woman there. And so they're all like, are you okay? And then he talks about the evil eye and everything has her. Um, and they start throwing water on her and stuff. And I'm like, oh, it's, it's a lot and everything. So she calls her, her aunt great aunt. I'm not quite sure how she's related to her. And she's all like, will you tell me about my grandmother? And she's like, oh, I, uh, or the bangle or whatnot. And she's like, I, I can't really tell you. She was, she was, uh, she uh, was cursed or something like that. I can't remember exactly what she said, but she keeps her dad out with her powers. And he comes in, she pretends to be asleep. I'd have been like, oh, honeybee, I'm not buying that nonsense. I heard voices, she's like, but he's like, is everything okay? And he's like, yeah, yeah, you go back to sleep. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So next day they're talking about Bon Jovi. Love Bon Jovi. Oh my goodness. Uh, love Bon Jovi. And he's talking about like, you need to play this song. And she's all like, hey, and she goes, if it wasn't, <laughs> the mom goes, if it wasn't for Slippery When Wet, your father and I probably would have never met. And he's like, that sounds gross. And I was like, I was like, uh, yeah, but at the same time, not for them. <laughs> um, um, and she asks about her grandmother and she's like, you need to leave it alone. And she's like, but you told me to, to find my own stories. How can I, you know, and she's like, this is not one that you need to know and everything she's like that woman cursed our family or something like that and i'm like so then the fiance he's like how would you feel about our first dance being um uh not was it living on a prayer i think it was living on a prayer and she's like as long as it's not you know um you give love a bad name what's the name of that one shit i can't remember but uh and they're like ah yeah she gets it and everything and i'm like yeah bon jovi's awesome so then they go to this little carnival and uh you know uh and they're having a good time and everything. She's trying to get herself promoted to get on the council. And she's there handing out flyers, but they go through all the stuff. There's the mosque bros. Um, there's the uh, poise boys. I'm not quite sure what they, I'm assuming they are very religious. There's the Sunday school teachers. Um, there's the insta click. The converts, or as uh, Kamal likes to call them, the reverts. I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe it's like a, a I don't know. It's, it looks like just a bunch of white people and like just a bunch of people trying to pretend, you know, kind of thing. Um, there's the mini uh, har har harami girls, harami girls. I don't know what that means. And then there's the Illuminantes. I loved this, the Illuminantes and everything. Um, so she's like, I have to go. You guys go get all them. I have to get my white whale. And it's Kamala's dad. And he, she's like, I would love it if you vote for me. And he's like, but the other guy is my best friend. She's like, yeah, and Kamala's my best friend. And she's like, and she's like, do you want to ruin our futures? Don't you want us to have a future and everything? And she obviously gets to him and his best friend's like, hey, what are you doing, dude? And everything. Uh, I just want to say bros before hoes. So he better vote for his best friend, uh, not some teenager. Anyways, so then Zoe 
is getting interrogated by these people that were at the the end credit scene. Shit, I didn't look and see if there was an end credit scene this scene, this episode, but whatever. Anyways, and they're like, "Hey, I love your making popcorn video and everything." She's like, "Yeah, popcorn, popcorn, and everything." So then he's like, "What about the girl that saved you? She she looked like she had red hair." Then she's like, "She didn't have red hair." And he's like, "So then this woman comes in and she gets like, so this woman she basically there she targets us down to, um, uh." I think she's a South Asian, but she's all like, uh, um, it's an Islamic girl or whatever. And then he's like, check the mosques and everything. But remember the FBI are watching him too. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, this scene was, uh, whatever. Mm, mm, you knew they were going to put crap like this in here, you know, white people bad. Um, so then she's in here talking to the aunties about her great, uh, her grandmother, her mom's mom. And they basically tell her that she just, she cursed the family. And uh, so, you know, one person called her snake and that, uh, you know, one auntie heard that she killed a man and everything during the, uh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called, the bad part. Um, And so uh, then this little boy goes up to this tall tower to get a picture, like a friggin' idiot. And he falls, but he grabs hold of the curtains. He's like, help me. And he screams like a little girl. He's like, yeah and everything and they're like oh my gosh so she goes up there and she's like i'm here to rescue and they're like oh look night lights here and everything so she gets on there and she's like think of your favorite food and he's like pizza with ice cream on it and he's like i like the flavors and i was like ew so then she goes up there to save him and she catches him and everything and they're up there and everything and so she jumps um off of this thing onto the roof and she's like all right give me your hand and everything but then she get the bracelet goes off and she gets a flash of light and she sees this one is like come Allah, come to me and everything and i'm all like what's going on there this woman um and she's pretty but she, she looks creepy in this thing man she's anyways and so her construct breaks and he falls so she slides down she tries to grab him with the hand but it misses just misses him so then she creates all these little constructs that he keeps bumping into and then he finally falls and onto the car and he's like oh my ankle and i'm like you deserved it you little idiot and so then she's running across the rooftops and she lands in this alleyway but then these these little drones follow her and everything and then the she punches one with her powers and these guys show up and they're like they're like stay where you are and everything and she climbs up over them across this thing but she lands on one of the drones she punches it out and then she falls on the other side of a big armored vehicle and uh, and then this car drives up and he's like get in and 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 then drives away and they're all like where'd she go and i'm like how do you not notice the car that just passed okay you little idiot um so she takes off her thing and she's like and she's like kamala and she's got this real raspy voice and she's like i'm so happy that i got to finally meet you and everything and she's like what and everything and he's like Yes, meet my mother. And then she's like, what? And he duped her. I knew he was a bad guy from the beginning. I was like, you don't trust hot boys that are into the grunge girl. You don't trust them because it's either a bet or they're working for the bad guy. Um, and so, uh, uh, yeah. So that's where the episode ends. So, like I said before, there were a lot of parts of this. There was a couple of cringy parts, like that very beginning scene where she's all like, hey, hey, girl, and everything. Uh, that part was cringy. But other than that, um, I enjoyed the episode. I thought it was I thought it was it was pretty good and head in the right direction. Um better than freaking obi-wan today i'll tell you right now uh but uh and so far like this show i have a feeling this show is kind of gonna let me down anyways because these marvel shows have a have a habit of doing that uh you know usually they either start off really well or they kind of end well for me but like like hawkeye i liked hawkeye but hawkeye ended not the best in my opinion and the rest of them i just don't like like other i, I like a couple of things but for the most part i just don't like them all right, you guys, that's my thoughts on and my breakdown of this episode. Was it good? Yeah, I'll, you know, out of 10, I'll give it a seven, a seven. I'll give it an eight because it was pretty good. I, I didn't I wasn't completely annoyed with this episode and I didn't like I mean, like, I think I rolled my eyes at the beginning of that very first scene. So, all right, you guys, again, that's my my thoughts. Uh, tell me what you guys thought about this episode. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Tell me what you think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you need my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys on my next Miss Marvel uh, breakdown and review. You guys have a good day. Bye.